Welcome back. We're doing sourdough. Sourdough is really easy. We already took care of the starter. It took a week for it to start. So the starter took a week to start. We did that in last week's video. And now we're gonna test it out and make up a, a loaf of bread. Um, it is very simple ingredients. It's water, flour, your starter, and some salt. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my water. We need 405 grams of water. If you don't have a baking scale, I don't know what to tell you. You can Google search the what's equivalent in volume, but you should really measure it by weight. That was not enough water. I also don't know if I have a big enough bowl. 405 grams. Alright, 88 grams of our starter. Make sure to tear that out. Perfection. Perfection, she said. And then tear it out again. And we're going to go ahead and mix that together. And now 500 grams of red flour and all-purpose flour. So 225 grams of bread flour, 250, 25 grams of all-purpose. This is gonna take a while. Let's, let's get a bigger cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and beat my starter jam. As long as we have a total of 500 grams of flour, we should be good. Theoretically. All right. Now we are gonna take it off the scale and we're gonna mix it up. So after we get this all mixed up, we're going to let it sit for an hour and then we're going to fold in some salt and a little bit of water. You don't want to add your salt right now because the salt is going to kill yeast and right now the yeast is alive and thriving. Yeast likes to thrive off of sugars and, and proteins. So, yeah, make sure everything is nicely hydrated. There, you can see there's little pockets of, you can't really see that, but there are dry pockets of flour in there, which is not good. This is a little sticky, and I know I should just let it be. Actually, I'm going to resist the urge of adding more flour. So we're just going to let this be. We're going to let it sit. We're going to let it do its thing. I'm going to throw some plastic wrap on it, write down the time. Oh, shit. Actually, in an hour, we have somewhere to be. So I'm going to throw this in the fridge. And then when I get out of that appointment, I'll add the salt and sugar. It's going to be a fun night. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, so we need five grams of water. Five grams of water. And 14 grams of salt. All 
right, then we're gonna fold the bread. One half, one. We'll mix it together. Just fold it in. What do you mean, fold it in? Just, just fold it in. So I am pulling it and stretching it and folding it over onto itself. All right, and then we are going to cover it lightly with a damp cloth and then in an hour I will fold it two more times. All right, so we're going to fold it, stretch and fold it three times right now. So one stretch and fold consists of One stretch and fold is folding it in thirds, one way, and thirds the other way. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, that's one fold. Technically, you want to lift it up, stretch it, and fold it down. Lift it up again. Get make sure to get the bottom. That's two folds. Well, I got interrupted, so I don't know how many folds I did. So we'll do one more. You pick it up, fold it over, turn it. up, stretch it out a little, and fold it. Put the towel back over, and in 26 minutes, we'll do the whole process again. So I did the math, and every 26 minutes for the next four hours, you do that. You do a fold, and it'll be nine folds. This is like the eighth turn. So... This is what I've been doing. So when we started, it looked like a really shaggy dough. But now, it is starting to gain structure. Just by lifting and stretching it. Stretching it out and folding it onto itself. Just that little bit is causing enough science to happen. Cover it up, come back in 26 minutes, and we'll shape it. Okay, this is it. It is like 11 o'clock at night, and I am so tired. So, this is gonna, this is gonna be turn number nine, I believe. It could be very long. Might be 10, but I would rather have too many than not enough. So we're going to fold it that way. And uh, lift and fold it this way. Now we're going to take some flour, some bread flour. Get some in the basket. This is just a proofing basket with a linen liner on top. So we're going to take the folded dough. Turn it out. I'm gonna hit it with 
with a little bit of flour because it is kind of sticky. We're going to shape it now. Yeah. Ugh. We're just tucking it into itself. Ever so slightly. We're going to dust the top. And this part is going to go into the basket. Carefully. This is really late in the night, so I'm just gonna cover the top with that damp towel and throw it in the fridge. Overnight is fine, and then we can deal with it in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning. The oven is breeding to 475. It's proofed overnight. I don't think it's gonna work. So, what we're gonna do, so I grabbed a piece of parchment. We have my sourdough loaf. Turn it out. Once my oven preheats, then I'm going to score this. Uh, you want to make sure that you score the top so the, the steam has somewhere to release. So I'm probably going to cut around the sides and down the middle. Using a serrated knife. A serrated paring knife. I don't have a double blades so the razor it's okay this will work I've done this before okay so I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna rise because it's flat as a pancake right now so I'm just gonna cut it a couple times so the steam releases my beautiful assistant is gonna open the oven for me But first, my dog is going to get in my way. Come on, guys. Get out of the kitchen. Get out. Just pull the rack out. Oh. Is that boy in there? Yeah. I'm going to just turn the lid on. Sneak peek action. What the fuck? There. Put it in the middle and you'll set a timer. Drop the temperature down to 325 and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so the timer went off. I have a prediction. My prediction is is that it's gonna be flat like a pancake. So oof. Oof. Oof, she's not done. Uh, I'm gonna give her six more minutes. She's still pale. Okay, take two. The time has maybe now come. We'll see. Step one, open the oven slowly. Don't get burned by hot air. Step two, get yelled at by your oven. Step three, take the vessel out. I'm going to pop this out and put it on a wire rack to cool. At this stage, you don't want to cut it. You don't want to cut it. You do not want to cut it. You want to let it cool and wait. Be patient. You didn't spend all that time to fuck it all up now. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what we have. A nice flat loaf. I mean, it's not, there's a little bit of a rise, not much. I either didn't do enough folds or I didn't shave it right, or I just don't know what I'm really doing. So, get a nice cross section cut for you. And then this is gonna be breakfast. I don't think the starter is developed enough. Those big holes. Or I didn't do the folds right. I'll have to look it up. But that's what we got for our first loaf. Waka 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 waka. So here is my review of the sourdough attempt number one. It is very holy. There it's very dense at the bottom and then really airy at the top. Um gonna have to troubleshoot that. The flavor is really good. Um, other than that, just, I don't know if it's my starter or the number of folds I did. Could be a combination. So I'm gonna check in with one of my friends, find out what she thinks, and then we'll try attempt number two. So not everything's a success, but you learn from your mistakes. So I'll see you next time on try number two. All right, thanks for tuning in. Check you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.